Welcome back to the channel. And after enjoying a spirited open practice at M&T Bank Stadium, uh, watching the Ravens do that thing for their fourth practice, maybe. I think it's the fourth. Uh, we're back with number four on our list. Cue the intro. <laughs> Number four on our list, well, before I get started, if this is your first time here and you like the content, hit the like button. And after you, you know, you really want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button also. And then hit the bell notification so you can be notified when these videos drop because it's about to ramp up because the season is upon us. But the number four guy is a guy that had a ton of ups and downs. Some people say he was a bust. Uh, some people said he was, you know, probably one of the greater guys on the team last year. I personally took it as some up, some down. Pat Queen. Pat Queen is the number four on our list. And the reason I re reason he's so high on this list is because if he can cut down on the mental mistakes from last year, he has the ability to do some things along the lines of some of the better linebackers in the league now. Like if you saw that list, that Madden list of best linebackers, if Queen could cut down on his mental mistakes, he could be on that list. And not necessarily for Madden, but he could be on that list of top linebackers soon. For one, he has the speed to do so. For two, he has the power to do so. Uh, three, he's a good blitzer. Four, he's good in coverage. He just has to cut down on the mental mistakes. And I think the way he cuts down on his mental mistakes is just slow down a little bit. Just slow down. Case in point, there was a, somebody ran the outside zone, and he's so fast. He was a gap over on it, and the running back stuck his foot in the ground and cut it back into the gap he would have been in because he's so fast. If you just slow down, see it, play a gap behind, and end up in your gap, keep your gap integrity, things like that don't happen or don't happen as frequently because it, everybody human. You're going to get beat sometimes. But uh, let's look at his stats, and, and then we'll you know kind of – Finish this off with why I think he's so high on this list. Um, played in all 16 games, so he didn't get affected by the COVID uh, last year. Had one interception, uh, two, pass defend, two passes defended, two forced fumbles, and two fumble recovers. Also had a, a touchdown, um, had three sacks, had 106 tackles as a rookie. Not bad. 106 tackles as a rookie, six, no, nine TFLs, and 10 QB hits. So between Bowser and Queen, that's 24 QB hits, not to mention what the other guys had. So um, getting to the quarterback, you know, like I said in the last video, right before that snap, because you only really get one step to hit the quarterback by the time he releases it. So, you know, that's it's a fine line between QB hits and uh, roughing the passer. But um, with that being said, I think he had a decent rookie year. Because middle linebacker is one of the hardest positions in the NFL to play. Uh, he doesn't have the dot on his head yet, so that's that helps him be able to focus on other stuff because he doesn't have to get the call in. He just can hear the call and focus on his responsibility. But with that being said, even though he doesn't have the dot, he still has to make sure the defensive line get lined up where they're supposed to be and make sure they're aligned in the gaps they're supposed to have. And even if they miss a line and hit a gap that they don't have, he has to then switch his responsibility and take the gap that the defense alignment should have had. That way the defense, the front seven, keeps his gap integrity. Because it only takes one person to get to put one person to get out of gap and then have two guys in the same gap, then you're looking at a 30, 40 yard run, if not a touchdown. But if he can cut down on the mental reps, play mentally slower, if that makes sense. Play, don't don't play physically slower. Play mentally slower. Like see it and then go. And don't just don't go and then be like, oh snap, I got to cut back, or oh snap, I went too fast. See it, read it, then go. Cause he has the speed, explosiveness to do that. Um, I can't remember missing a lot of tackles. I just remember him being more out of place than missing a lot of tackles. But um, number four on this list is Pat Queen. We got our top three uh, coming up tomorrow. So um, make sure you tune in, and if you sent uh, a list into my email, I'll be checking it soon to uh, so we can talk about these top three guys on this list, and Pat Queen is the number four guy on this list. And um, hey, I appreciate you guys coming through on this Saturday night after the live practice at M&T Bank Stadium. Now, do me a favor. If you went to the live practice and you stayed here to the end of the video, put an eight in the comment section. 
If you went to the live practice and you stayed to the end of the video, put an eight in the comment section for Lamar. And uh, I didn't go. I was at home watching it on YouTube, but I saw some people out there. Saw a few people I know. I saw uh, Simply AS10. Saw Ain Raven. Saw pictures of um, Fred from Birdland BS there. I wish it could have been there, but uh, I wasn't. I'll be there in January. All right, coach out. With the, with the